Does every person have a calling? It depends on the definition of calling, right? It's sort of like because people, you know, is everyone supposed to be president or Mother Teresa or, you know, it makes me think of the past life regression thing. I kind of, I, I, I joked about that earlier, you know, it's sort of like any, any time I hear a past life regression story, it's always Catherine the Great or, you know, it's never like I was Joe, you know, from Sicily in the 1500s and I had a store, you know. Um, yeah, everyone has a calling. I think everyone has a calling to, the real calling is, and there's other ways that people put this, but the Buddhist way of putting it is the, the, everyone's calling is to understand the nature of suffering and that there is an answer to suffering, to end suffering, and to achieve, um, and I'll use some of the Buddhist words, it's uh, to achieve liberation, and in many Buddhist traditions, in the service of being able to help others to achieve that liberation from suffering. So then everybody has a calling um, and it can manifest in any sort of um, type of human or other form and any type of cultural form or, you know, it's all possible for, for anyone. And again, as I was saying in another part of the interview, it's sort of like some people have, um, more opportunity than others to be uh, coming from a place of I'm going to go after that spiritual liberation, you know, and uh, sort of I have the the resources that allow me to you know take an extra yoga class <laughs> or whatever it is, and then people who have the opposite of that. So what's each of their calling, I, I, I would think, I would hope, is the same. And it might take different pathways to help each of them get there and not to get diluted. You know, like it's very easy to get diluted on the spiritual path. Um, uh, Chogyam Trungpa had a book, Ch uh, Cutting Through Spiritual Materialism. I don't know if he coined that phrase, but, you know, one can really get caught up in the materialistic, I'm, I'm the best meditator kind of materialism. And then people who are doing everything they can just to get by, you know, don't, might not have that extra, that extra time and resources to be uh, go, going towards that. But there are the other ways where they can follow their calling or to achieve that liberation. Um, I feel like everybody has a truth. I guess that, that's what it, what it is, is that the calling sort of in my mind makes me think of like a job in a sense, or you know, like a, a, a very particular way of serving people or a particular way of being. And I think more that it's uh, um, to, well, you know, from my perspective, to do their trauma work so that they're able to have a sustainable life of uh, working in service to themselves and their own liberation and for others. That was really Buddhist answer. <laughs>